Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome back to Team Fortress 2. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of the highlights from the latest update known as the Gunmetal Update, and this will be the one discussing the Tamislav. Now, prior to this update, if you even talked about this weapon, you probably would have had a disgusted look smeared across your face, because, well, from, from an objective point of view, this weapon was just a downgrade. It was terrible. 10% faster spin-up time, and it fired 20% slower. That was basically it. And judging from experience, there was virtually no difference between the spin-up time of the Tommy Slav and the regular minigun. In fact, there's even a side-by-side -side comparison on the old weapon demonstration video, which does have yet to be updated. I don't know when they're gonna do that, because typically these things, they do take time, you see. But now that the Tommy Slav has been buffed in the latest update, and in general, Heavy's weapons, in terms of some of his other unlockables, have been buffed, such as how the Brass Beast and the Natalia both give a 20% damage resistance now when you spin up. The Tomislav does not exactly grant that, however, it does grant a couple of interesting little wishes which you might have had on your mind, such as the fact that now the spin-up time has been increased to 20%, which is really good. It gives Heavy that little extra edge in case he does get surprise ambushed by a couple of enemies, or at least individuals, I'd reckon. It now has a 20% accuracy buff, making it much easier to track enemies at around medium range, because, as you all might know, the first thing you might think of when you hear the word minigun is not exactly sniper rifle. But the Tomislav does kinda do the job, I mean, it sorta looks like a sniper rifle, it has a very thin barrel, and the bullets, they're pretty decently accurate, even at long range, but I wouldn't exactly recommend that you try being a heavy sniper in the first place, but you probably get the idea. It's still a fairly decent buff. The weapon, of course, still fires 20% slower, but of course the upgrades to it do sort of compensate for that. And overall, I'd say that this is you know, pretty fair. I, I do like what they've done with the Tomislav, mostly because I barely play Heavy to begin with. Heavy is just one of those classes which I'm just terrible at. Like, I don't exactly know the timing all that well of where a heavy is supposed to be and how he can ambush effectively. It's just such a difficult concept for me to grasp due to the fact that most of the time, as a heavy, you're just going to be standing holding down mouse 2 expecting enemies to show up. And that's not really how you're supposed to play, I know, but it's kind of the way I play because I don't want to get backstabbed, I don't want to get headshot, I want to be as safe as possible when I'm playing as definitely the meatiest class of the game, but it certainly is a difficulty in of itself, because a lot of people tend to comment on the fact that Heavy's, oh, he's that easy class because he has a really easy weapon to use, and the, the, the minigun, you guys, is actually one of the best weapons in the game. I still say it's one of the more difficult ones to use, because as a Heavy, positioning is everything, and if you don't know what you're doing, then you're gonna get killed pretty easily. Now with the Tomislav, it's um, it's kind of given me a little bit more incentive to actually play heavy, which is something that does take a little bit of skill. In fact, not necessarily skill in what I'm doing, but rather skill in having someone convince me to play heavy, because I never really enjoyed it all that much, if you can no doubt tell. I usually just threw on a steak sandwich and then the killing gloves of boxing and just tried to punch people with that, which is not usually an effective strategy. In fact, the buffalo steak is underrated because it's really not all that effective. You kind of have to be pretty precise on where you eat it. Uh, it's all about timing and positioning, really. I can't really comment much else on that. Right, the Tomislav, the Slavic Thompson. We are still referring to that weapon, aren't we? Forgive me for going on that slight tangent. The ultimate downside to using this weapon is when you're trying to confront large groups of enemies, which you should not typically be doing if you do not have the element of surprise in your mind, or if you don't even have a metagun jammed up your butt. The Tomislav is best at taking out individuals, especially those that are spread out across the map. I'd say that taking out scouts has never been a lot more satisfying than it is with the Tomislav now, because that accuracy ramp up is just perfect if they're trying to jump around you and be all confusing and sneaky. It's not gonna work like that for them, in fact they might drop very easily. There's something about the slower firing speed that I'm just sort of a lot more comfortable with, but if you are going to try fight large groups of enemies, well, pick your battles carefully and pick out the people you're supposed to be shooting at carefully because you will have a terrible time if you do not have things strategized. That's all I really have to comment on about this weapon. It really motivated me to play Heavy again, and Heavy might just become one of my regular classes that I usually try to use, if only because of the Tommy's love. At some point, I probably should cover the other weapons that have been buffed as of late, but for now, I'm going to enjoy this minigun. 
I do highly appreciate what Valve has done with it. It sort of surprises me how long they took to actually buff it. I will concede that, you know, back then when the time slav was a whole new thing, 75% extra spin-up time, and then respectively 40% after the nerf came along, was, well, a little ludicrous. But 10% was just far too low for it to even be considered usable in the battlefield. Now it's much different, and once again, I would like to reiterate, I like this weapon a lot. I realize now that five and a half minutes into the video, I have neglected to even talk about the family business and the eviction notice, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and just explain the existence of these weapons and how they function now. The family business now fires 15% faster, and that's the only change that was made to it. I never really saw the family business as being a bad weapon to begin with. The 8-shot clip does encourage more successful hits, and if you are a good aim with a shotgun, you might find some surprisingly good effectiveness out of this weapon. Just most people, mostly sensible people would recommend that you equip a sandwich instead of a shotgun, but I am a very senseless individual who likes to have backup firepower, but I also really love the sense of hilarity you'll get whenever you kill someone with a shotgun, because it's really the last thing people expect out of a heavy, is to be equipping a shotgun and thereby being killed by a shotgun heavy. It's not something you see every day, but when it happens, they'll probably be reconsidering their life and their actions for a little bit of time. If you are a heavy that likes having heals, then you should probably just put a sandwich on, because medics will be a lot more grateful to you. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to be one of those heavies that equips sandwiches very often, because I just do not like pocket medics. I like getting heals now and then, but if you are going to be like playing with me in the server, just don't, don't pocket me. Please heal other people except me, because I don't like pocket medics at all. And I know I'm sounding a little bit conceited right now, because, you know, right, who's, who am I to get a pocket medic, but... Just as a fair warning, I'm probably going to have a shotgun equipped if I ever play heavy, just because I think it's fun. That's about it. The eviction notice is now downright hilarious. Whenever you punch someone with this weapon, you now gain a 3 second boost in speed. On your movement speed, at least. Not exactly in punching speed, because that's already been existent for a long time. The eviction notice used to be just plain useless, because you'd barely be in melee range to begin with, and the weapons did just really terrible damage. The only time you'd ever be able to reliably get up close and personal with someone is if you had the buffalo stake, or if you managed to successfully corner someone as the slowest class in the game. Now, the eviction notice is really still good for cornering people now with the additional speed boost, but it falls under the awesome but impractical trope for me. I just don't really think melee heavy is really a viable option, even if I've already said that playing shotgun heavy is probably a lot more fun and even occasionally a reliable strategy against individuals who are spread out across the map. I can't really say the same for the melee heavy stuff, it's just it doesn't work like that, and people tend to avoid melee fights with heavy like the plague. That's why melee heavies tend to get shot with guns quite a lot, even the friendly ones that are just trying to give people sandwiches, which is usually a tragic event. Please do not kill the friendly sandwich heavies, they, they did nothing wrong, man. If there's any melee recommendation I can give, it would be to pair up the killing gloves of boxing with just about any weapon you'd want, even especially the shotguns. Like, the shotgun crits can be pretty devastating, and the killing gloves of boxing certainly do help with that. The eviction notice, on the other hand, are just really good for surprising people, and that's about it. You'll probably lose a ton of health just trying to kill someone with these, and you're mostly relying on random crits to do the job. And sometimes it just simply won't work out unless you've already dealt enough damage with actual guns. So, use it at your own risk. In fact, I think the best recommendation I could give to Valve if they were even in the off chance watching this video is to maybe make the eviction notice fire a little slowly but inflict bleeding damage for a couple seconds instead because I feel as though that would make a little bit more sense and actually make them somewhat useful, but hey, what, whatever. If this change exists, if the buff exists even though it's a pretty terrible buff, at least they paid some attention to a rather outdated weapon. So what's the verdict? Guilty or not guilty? I think the Tomislav has successfully redeemed itself, and the family business is certainly a hell of a lot of fun. The eviction notice is pretty funny, but overall fairly useless. I'd say the Mafia Heavy set is one of my favorite loadouts of all time now in this game, and I can only hope at this point that the Tomislav does not get butchered any further. I think now that it's actually been patched up a little bit, and it is able to reliably kill people with actually having differences between it and the regular minigun, 
I'd say that it's probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. So that's going to end the video off. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day or evening, and I guess I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.